Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to use the React Native Gesture Handler to recognize tap gestures in your React Native app. So I'm just going to do that in PX Expo install first and import gesture from React Native Gesture Handler. I'm going to define a couple of gestures, but I'm just going to start with a simple single tap. I'll be focusing on taps today, but there are many more gestures that you can handle using this gesture handler. And if you're interested in a specific one, drop it in the comments below and I'll get to it at some point soon. So basically you go gesture dot whatever gesture you're wanting to be interested in. In this case, I'm interested in the tap gesture. And then when that gesture ends, um, this callback is called and it will have an event argument and a success argument. If it's successful, then you might want to do something. I'm just going to console log that the event has happened, so a single tap. And if it's not successful, you might want to do something else, um, or you may just not do anything. So in order to handle a gesture on a particular component, you're going to want to wrap it in a gesture detector and pass your gesture to this gesture property. So my gesture is um, the, the constant single tap. So I've wrapped this text component. So when I click on that text component, it says single tap and anywhere where that text component is rendered, it will say single tap. You may also be interested in other types of taps. So you might want to um, consider double tap. So if a user double taps, you might want to perform some action. It might be useful, for example, if you have a game and when you double tap, you might want to shoot um, a weapon or drop a bomb or something like that. So yeah, when you're interested in a double tap, you'll specify the number of taps you want. And then once again, you're going to have that call back when the um, gesture is recognized. And once again, I'm checking whether it was successful. And if it is, I'm going to console log the, um, the gesture. So I'm going to console log double tap. I'm just going to show you that once again as a single gesture. You can actually combine gestures, but I'm just going to show you the single ones initially. And so if I double tap on this, then I'll show double tap. If I were to just do one tap and then leave it, it would show nothing. And yeah, if I do two, two taps in quick succession, it will show double tap. You can also combine gestures like I mentioned earlier. So there's a gesture.exclusive, which is going to basically do one of your gestures and it takes the order the gestures are listed in as the um as which prior which one takes priority. So if I double tap, then it will um take priority over single tap. Whereas if I single tap, it's not going to go to double tap because it's a not um, click twice, but if I double tap, then it wouldn't show single tap as well. There are a few others, um, so there's gesture.race, and basically the idea of this one is whichever happens first is the one that happens, so when I tap on the text component, one time it's triggering that single tap so if I try to quickly tap twice it actually was giving me a single tap still because that was taking um, precedence because of that race um, gesture comb combiner. Finally I'm going to show you simultaneous so I thought simultaneous would show both if I did a double tap but it seems to just be going to single tap I'm not sure if that's just a bug or if it's um, because those two uh, taps and it maybe only allows you one particular type of gesture. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure if that's by design or a flaw. But I will explore 
that in future videos to see how different types of gestures combine. So if there's any you're interested in me combining, just let me know. So I hope you've enjoyed this video today. If you have, please like and subscribe for more content. All my code will be available on GitHub.